beautiful family? Today, I want to share with you a very delicious soup with albondigas that I know you guys are going to love and enjoy. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. One tomato, cilantro, onion, eggs, potatoes, two garlic cloves, black pepper, chicken bouillon with tomato, dry cilantro, dry onion, our cut fideos, and our ground turkey. This is everything we need to make this delicious and amazing soup with albondigas. So let's get started. I want to start here with my veggies. I have my potatoes, tomato, onion, and cilantro, and let's go to the sink. Let's start rinsing very good and very thoroughly all the veggies. Remember, this part is very important because before you make your delicious recipes, let's rinse and clean our veggies. Well, this is done. First here, I want to start with my tomato. I want to start making the sauce the sauce for this delicious cut fideo look at this this is a very large tomato i'm gonna cut it in four pieces just like that i'm gonna get my onion i'm gonna use only half an onion for now i have my garlic cloves here and i have the chicken bouillon with tomato and all this we're going to add it to our blender this is the first part before we start making this delicious and amazing cut fideo albondiga soup i know that you guys are going to love it if you came to my channel and you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so so you don't miss miss of any delicious recipes i put up i put up three recipes a week and look at this i'm just adding some water just enough to blend it and let's go take it and blend it completely and it really doesn't take too long we're going to put it aside and i'm going to continue with my cut fideos i'm going to transfer them to this plate let me show you these fideos are very thin they cook very fast and look at this okay let's go to the stove on the stove i have a very hot pan which i'm going to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil once i've done that i'm going to add my fideo this part is very important do not leave your 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 fideo in the pan you need to be mixing it or else it could easily get burned like i said this fideo is very thin and it cooks very easily right now we just want to brown it get it nice and brown from the top but the most important part is do not leave your pan and your fideo on you have to be mixing it incorporating it completely until you until it starts getting really nice and brown but be careful because once it starts getting brown it could easily burn so don't walk away from your fideos once these are nice and brown i'm going to transfer it back to the same plate we're going to leave it in here. We're going to let it rest while we prepare our ground turkey. Okay, here, I before I start with the turkey, I want to go ahead and start cutting my potatoes. I'm going to cut the sides and then I'm going to peel them completely, making sure that they don't have any little dark dots. That's very important because when you make this delicious and amazing soup, you don't want to get a potato out and it has a little brown spot. So just make sure that you really take those little dots away. 
you're gonna cut it cube it just like this and i'm gonna use the other half of onion and i'm gonna cube it just like that remember the onion you could slice or just cut it in little squares it all depends how you like it but here look at this this is how i cut the potato and look at the onion okay this is ready i'm gonna go ahead and add just one tablespoon of vegetable oil to the same pan and I'm gonna add my onion when you start smelling the onion and it's getting nice and nice and um, crispy then that's when you know that it's time to add the liquid look at this the aroma the onion leaves is just amazing now I am ready to add the liquid look at this and i'm gonna leave this here in medium low heat until it starts boiling while this starts boiling let me continue with my turkey meat look at this i'm just gonna go ahead pull it apart a little bit and start adding the spices i have the onion flakes which i'm gonna add in here i have the black pepper which I'm going to add, and I'm going to add the dry cilantro. To this, I am going to add my two eggs. I'm not going to add any salt because remember, the soup, the water, the juice is already has all the delicious flavors of the chicken bouillon. And here, I'm just gonna slice really nicely, really nice and chopped my cilantro. I'm gonna add everything in here. And now I am ready to incorporate everything to the turkey, just like that. Once everything is incorporated with your hands nice and clean, you're gonna start making your albondigas, the little balls of the turkey meat and all the ingredients. Look at this. They're going to be a little wet, but don't worry about it. They're going to be fine. Just make sure that you make all your little albondigas almost the same size so that they cook at the same time. You don't want some bigger, some smaller. You want to almost have them almost at the same size so that when they are cooking, they all cook at the same time. Well, I'm going to continue making the rest here. I am completely done making my abondigas. And now let's go to the stove. Let's see how the caldo is doing. It's boiling in medium low heat. And now I'm going to add my potatoes. When you add the potatoes, the heat comes down. But wait at least two to three minutes when it starts boiling again. That's when you're going to add your albondigas. It started already making those little bubbles. Now I'm adding my albondigas. When you add your albondigas, don't mix them at all. Just put them in there. Let them cook for about five minutes in medium low heat. If you start stirring in there, the albondigas are going to come apart. And that's exactly what you don't want. Once they've been cooking for five minutes then you're going to add your cut fideo right on the top you're just going to move just slightly the fideo so that it falls to the bottom and it starts cooking just like this remember you don't want to mix everything or else your albondigas are really going to be pulled apart and it's going to look like picadillo look at this after 10 minutes, your fideo is really nice and cooked, really soft. Your albondigas are ready. And now I am ready to prepare my plate. It's nice and cold here in California. And I am ready to enjoy this delicious and amazing cut fideo with albondiga soup. My mouth is already watering. I can't wait to enjoy this delicious albondiga soup with all those fideos okay i am ready for the presentation and i can't wait to taste so i'll see you in just a little bit
I am completely done with this delicious soup with albondigas. This is the part I really love and enjoy, tasting my recipes. Let's see how this came out. I really want to try this albondiga. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. It's nice and hot. I wish you guys were here to taste it with me. Excuse me. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Just amazing. Perfection made at home. If you liked and loved my recipe, I invite you to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up. Share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives. So cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell. And if you did, leave it activated. So every time I make a delicious recipe like I did today, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. Like, subscribe, and share. See you soon. Bye-bye.